Who knew people that a PvP game could actually create competitive behaviour between players? And if they're from a different country, don't capture and hang one of them because that might be racialistisms. At least, according to PC Gamer. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface in a game that I've had in my sights for a couple of weeks now. Yet to pull the trigger, today I'm pulling that trigger, has been Atlas from the creators of Ark. Survival Evolved? Or is that Halo Survival? I don't know. Uh, from the creators of Ark. And there's a little bit of a story behind Atlas. It appears that the game was actually meant to be an expansion for Ark. However, because of the way that they dealt with their season pass or payment structure or whatever, it would have made most people get the game for free. Uh, and so they were like, screw that, we need to exploit people. <laughs> A gaming company exploiting people. Who knew? Who knew they existed? <laughs> I know I didn't. And so they plonked it out in early access, early access, and uh, stuck a price tag on it. And it's a complete and utter dog's dinner of a game. What a surprise. And the article I'm going to refer to today, normally I plonk it here, but no. What you're seeing over here is the stellar, the stellar gameplay of this product, Atlas, which I took with my very own handies. So you can see for yourself what a, a masterpiece of a game this is. And before anyone goes, but it's only in early access. Oh, you. Outside now. Um, yeah, this is, this is just awful stuff. So, apparently though, this isn't the biggest problem that the game has. Oh no. PC Gamer reported a few days ago. This article, as always, is linked in the description box down below. <sighs> Racialismisms. Got to say it like that, otherwise you might get demonetized. In Atlas has become a problem as Western and Chinese players clash. Oh my god! As Chinese groups continue to spread the Atlas subreddit, uh -huh. is battling racialisticisms and xenophobia. -yas. Okay, so it's uh, not actually in the game at all, uh, PC Gamer. It's in the subreddit. Okay. Uh, Atlas, this is how they start their article, by the way. Atlas is a sandbox pirate MMO where players can do anything from farm crops to explore ancient ruins. Something like that. But take a look at Atlas's most popular subreddit. Let's have a look then. What's the top article? PSA. Uh, dye lanterns with slate dye to get nice, usable, neutral lighting. Oh. Wait a minute. Did that say dye lanterns? Lanterns, as in change the color of them? <laughs> That's racist! Uh, no. Oh, it does look rather nice, though. Anyway, uh, let's get back uh, to the article. It's quickly becoming apparent that many are occupying their time with a different objective, warring with Chinese players who inhabit Atlas's North American and European PvP servers. Over the past month, the rising tensions between Eastern and Western players... Oh, God, it's like the fucking Cold War, PC Gamer! It's like the Cold War! Uh, over the past month, the rising tensions between Eastern and Western players has been a hot topic amongst the community. And while a little bit of smack talk is okay, it also boiled over... Into outright racialisticisms and xenophobias. Cool story, bro. Uh, right. 
So, uh, yeah, you're always going to get, you're always going to get smack talk. You never, <laughs> bearing in mind, right, this is, I, I like the way that things like this are positioned. Um, this is a fact. A lot of games made in the East never make their way to the West. Why? Because of, uh, you know, country laws and, and rules and regulations and such and so forth. Some, absolutely some. Uh, but with certain uh, MMO uh, <laughs> online games, let's pick one. Let's actually get an example so we get some, you know, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, for example. Uh, they didn't want it polluted <laughs> by the West. <laughs> Despite saying, yeah, yeah, it'll come. Yeah, it's going to come to the West. Yeah, no, no, it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. Oh, my goodness me. It's five years past. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, yeah, a lot of them just don't want it polluted by us. <laughs> Who's the wrestler now? Uh, it's just the way that they, they do stuff. And uh, let's just be perfectly honest. Um, I don't think... Uh, don't think Chinese have the best reputation when it comes to uh, hacking and stuff like that. And this game, I mean, just look at it. This looks like it's, you know, a pinnacle of gaming development. <laughs> but it's protected up to the nines. Anyway, let's read a little bit more. A lot of it stems from Ark Survival Evolved. I think I got it right. Mr. Woodhouse. <laughs> Sorry, that's a beautiful name. Uh, PG would be uh, really proud. A moderator on the Atlas subreddit tells me there was a pretty decent amount of East versus West tension there in the official PvP servers, but it really got out of hand with Atlas because it's a large scale MMO style game. Okay. Though the two games share a lot in common, players in Ark are divided into discrete servers, so interaction is limited to those who also play on the same server. Atlas, however, stitches dozens of servers together into one massive world map that can house around 40,000 players at one time. However, each individual block is locked to 150 players each. And so if you move to another block and it's full, rap. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Just get, you could get kicked anywhere. It's similar to the way you Eve Online, which also has one world that everyone shares together, albeit with a much bigger limit on how many people can occupy one area at a time. He then goes on to say, Atlas's two PvP servers, one for the Americas and one for the Europa Shires, are meant to encourage war between player-run guilds called companies. No Sherlock. Beyond the safety of the beginner's servers, which has level 19 creatures as soon as you spawn, level 23 creatures, and you just get... Well, you're probably going to be smashed to death by a seagull by now. <laughs> The game is donkey shit. Um, beyond the safety of the beginner servers, anyone could kill you without consequence. But shortly after Atlas's release, many began complaining about the presence of Chinese players who appeared to be highly coordinated and, high and highly aggressive. Oh my god. Are you complaining that they've got tactics? Literally, everyone is getting shit on by them, wrote moderator Manic Ma, whatever, in late December. They don't care what level you are. They will find you and kill your raft. It's not even about skill or anything. All they have is numbers, completely obliterating everything they see. Oh, my God. Enough. Enough is enough. Right, so uh, it's all kicked off because um, the Chinese are kicking people's ass. <laughs> because there's a lot more of them. And let's just, let's just be honest, there's a lot more of them in general. <laughs> so, proportionately, that's what I'm saying, easy, back away. 
disproportionately. Uh, yeah, they, um, they, they, if they want to tether themselves to a game, then yeah, they're probably going to band together and annihilate. They got better tactics. They got bigger numbers. And uh, that's going to cause racial slurs to be uh, thrown about between the two. And then um, the subreddit's just gone, Oi! Enough! If you keep on doing this nonsense, we're just going to ban you. <laughs> what a story! <laughs> what a story, PC Gamer. I, uh... <laughs> I imagine all that money it took to get you through college was worth it. But it gave me a giggle, and I hope it gave you a giggle. <laughs> I can't be bothered to go any further into this, because it's just S happens. So I hope you enjoyed the vid and the stellar gameplay. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links, they're in the description box down below. And I'll be back. I don't know why this, this just really tickled me. This When I read this article, it just really tickled me. Really wanted to share it with you. Uh, and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.